The 2017 Cadillac ATS-V is an absolute hometown monster, at least from my hometown. I know a lot of you guys out there aren't from the US, but Cadillac is a US-based company, one of the oldest manufacturers in the automobile industry. And uh, the ATS-V is kind of like their answer to things like the BMW M3 or M4. So uh, it comes in a two-door coupe or a four-door sedan, both of which have 3.6 liter twin turbo V6s putting out around 470 horsepower, zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds, top speed around 190 miles an hour. These things are beasts. They've got really, really, really good performance stats and they're not too expensive. I think the starting price of this thing is around $60,000. So, I mean, they're, they're up there, but they've got performance specs of cars that are double and triple and quadruple that. So it's a, a pretty good bang for your buck type of car. And I can't wait to check it out here with you guys. This is one of the new cars that came with the Play C car pack. And uh, we're going to see what it can do. So starting off here, as we always do with every episode, we're going to go through, maximize the upgrades and see where that puts us. Okay, so for around $75,000, which is one of the more expensive upgrades we've done here in this game so far, we are actually going to jump this thing from an A-class to an S2 class, which is pretty good. Drop the weight by 700 pounds, double the horsepower, looking pretty good. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it here. This thing's going to be a, uh, a beast. We also switched up the rims a little bit. We got some ADV ones. They look good. They're a little bit lighter. Going to help us out in the performance era and, and kind of uh, department. And so uh, let's go ahead and change up our designs and paint. So we haven't done a matte paint car in a while, and I don't know. Cadillacs, I always think, look really good with matte black. So I think that's what we're going to go with here. We're going to go with paint body, special colors. We're going to go with the matte. And then we're going to change the paint color to a matte black. And uh, we've got the, the, the black rims with the red brake calipers, the red ADV1 logo. I, just, I, think that looks, I think that looks good. I think it looks really good. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. That looks good to me. You want to paint our hood maybe a carbon fiber I don't think it's necessary it doesn't look that much different the mirrors I always like carbon fiber mirrors I think those look kind of cool so we're gonna go with the carbon fiber mirrors paint the wing carbon fiber I guess just to mix oh actually let's go with a, a gloss red man let's go with the red wing that's gonna look really cool ah uh, actually maybe a matte red I think I might like the matte red a little bit better so we're gonna go with that the wheels we're going to keep the same, the windows we're going to tint out, and uh, there we have it. I think that thing looks super, super sexy, real sleek, almost like a Batmobile type car. So uh, we're going we're gonna to take a Forza Vista look around this thing as soon as we're done saving, and we're going to see what she's about. I think this thing is going to be surprising how good it is. I think it's, uh, it's going to perform really, really well. So let's go ahead and hop into Forza Vista here. This is a good looking car, man. I don't know, Caddy's... I have mixed feelings about them. Sometimes I feel like they look really good. Other times I'm like, eh, I don't know how crazy I am about it. I think this one looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to have a bad looking car when you black it out. Didn't Justin Bieber have a car that looked like this? The matte black caddy. I'm gonna hop in here, see what we've got going on. We've got the, uh, the six speed manual there. Looks good to me. What is that, Alcantara on the steering wheel? I don't know what that is. Nothing really too crazy. I mean, we have the, the carbon fiber inserts, the door panels and stuff, the trim above the glove box. I don't know. It's it's not the most race car -y type thing in the world, but it's Cadillac. It's meant to be a mix of both, power and luxury. Yes. That actually sounded really, really good. All right, let's go find us a championship. We're running another Horizon Championship. You're the star attraction. All right, let's get it, guys. So we actually, we uh, did things a little bit differently here. A lot of times we'll do like a generic car class or we'll do anything goes or anything like that. Because we don't really see too many Cadillacs in this game, I figured it'd be fun to do a Cadillac championship. So I know we have the ATSV, we've got the CTSV, we've got the Escalades. That actually might be it. So maybe this wasn't a good idea. I, I mean, it's going to be even. It's going to be even all throughout. So we can't be upset about that. I was hoping we had some other Cadillac options, but... Maybe that's why we don't see too many Cadillacs in this game, is because there aren't really that many. I don't know. Interesting. But uh, here we go, guys. This is a uh, an off-road scramble race. Definitely to have some off-roading in it. I think it's mostly off-roading, but um, I think we're going to be okay. It's mostly going to be dirt roads like this. 
So it's manageable. We've been we've been working with that lately. It's been it's been working out. Dude, this thing is feeling squirrely. Couldn't really get a good line going right there at the start, but we're looking pretty good here. Woo! Drifting by into first place. Dude, I told you guys we were gonna be impressed with the performance of this thing. Holy cow, we are flying right now. Oh my goodness! Don't miss any checkpoints here. Yes, dude, this thing feels really, really good. Keeping the skill chain going? Why not? We gotta spend some of those skill points, man. We still have that Bentley in there. Holy cow, I honestly... No! Came in way too hot. I honestly completely forgot about that Bentley that's that you unlocked me the skill points. Dude, that was like... The braking on this thing's not very good. That was like 30,000 times three or something crazy. Ooh, ooh, okay. I see you out here, Mr. Mr. Escalade. I see you trying to make plays. Holy cow, that was an aggressive jump. Um... Yeah, I forgot about that. We're definitely gonna have to, to bring that thing out here soon. This is the last, like, modern car in this uh, this DLC update. I've noticed that a lot of people are kinda, I don't know, they weren't really impressed with the, uh, the newest car pack for this game. There's a lot of stuff from, like, the 70s and 80s, which, don't get me wrong, that's cool. But there are a lot of cars we want out of the modern era that we don't have yet. Especially Porsches, man. I'm hoping they bring in Porsches soon. There's rumors about a, a big Porsche car pack coming, and that would be insane, bro. Saw Crim6 just got a GT4. So sexy, man. I love Porsches. All right, guys. Oh, we didn't even go inside the car that entire race. That was quick. This thing's quick. Very fast. All right. Felt pretty good. Very, very solid race there to start things off. Let's move on to our next event. We are a creature of the night, baby. Oh my gosh. Nighttime race with the matte black. Looks so good, so sleek. You can barely even see it. We're gonna be sneaking up on that first place spot. Creeping on people, baby. Watch out for that rock there. From the looks of it, this race is gonna have a lot of off-roading. And so, dude, this is a really bouncy road. There's like no, Oh man, this is gonna be a sketchy race, bro. Look at what's in front of us. Down on that mini map. Okay. Nice. Oh, I know this race. Who remembers when we raced this race? This is actually the last race of like the, the main story part of the game. We raced the blimp and the razor. It was the last like spectacle thing. I don't even remember what they were called. Show showcase? Is it a showcase? I don't know. It's hard catching this Escalade, man. This guy is he's booking it. I'm trying my best, but this is just, dude. We're like snaking our way down this mountain. Might be taking an L here. Second place. Acceleration in this Cadillac's pretty good. It should be better than a Escalade, that's for sure. But uh, I think the speed is is where it excels. How is this guy flying in an Escalade through terrain like that? I guess Escalades are are they're meant for off not meant for it, but they can handle it. It's an SUV. But still, all these turns and stuff, you would think he wouldn't be as agile as he is. Homie is flying. All right, we've yet to race inside this thing. This isn't really the race I would want to race inside on, but we're going to try it. Here at the end. We're going to catch him on this final corner. Yes! Oh my gosh, boys. Oh! He just tried to pit maneuver us. Okay. A second first place there. That is what I like to see. We, so we are in the commanding lead of this championship. And we're going to move on to our final race. Be there in a sec. The final stop of the day. We are here for the Timber Mill Trail Race. And uh, 
I don't know if we raced this one before. So that's kind of exciting. So we'll see what happens here. Looked like there was a decent amount of on-road type stuff, so... Hopefully that plays to our advantage here. Let's see what we can do. Dang it, I wanted to go around the outside there. These guys came to race, boy! These guys are flying! Those Escalades seem a little sketchy, man. There's no way an Escalade would be going this fast. Ahead of the, the sports car caddies. So. Ah, I wanted to grab the outside there. Oh, okay. I was not ready for that. We handled it well. It wasn't that bad of a wreck, but I was not ready for us to break that hard. Coming down that hill, going straight, you just wanted to keep going. Okay, so we're here in the third place spot. Nice. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, it was fun, Road. Nice to see ya. Now we've got the off-road section. This is fun, though. We're 50% of the way through. Let's go ahead and hop inside and see what we can do from inside the cockpit of the beast, boys. In the belly of the beast. Whoa. Really getting that rear end out there. I can't really seem to catch these guys. Like, We haven't raced a perfect race, but we've raced pretty well. And they're just way up there. 69% of the way through. <laughs> I feel like we're starting to gain a little bit of ground here. Yeah, we are. Nice. Run that guy. Can't see anything. Can't see any. Oh, gosh, dude. I couldn't see anything because we were behind an Escalade, bro. I couldn't see if we wanted to, like, try to take the inside or the outside or what. All right, well, I think we're going to end up in second place here. Hopefully, oh, we're going to beat him out. 100%. Nice. Race to the finish, boys. We got him on the straight. Good stuff. That was actually a pretty good race. We were behind all the way right up until the end there. Almost got screwed from being down the cockpit view. Just couldn't see anything. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. The ATSV. It's okay. I don't know. It's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite either. We did work with it, so uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.